And I just got done capturing all the data on these on these hull parts. So we've done a 2D trace on all of these panels, 70 plus panels, and I wanted to show where the setup was on the on the tracker. Plus, it's hard to see because the camera's pointing my way. But over here is where we were shooting with the tracker. So we haven't had to move the tracker. We're in one spot with that. Everything that we could capture was part of that line of sight, so we could see it. But notice here in Polyworks, I have got a sample of the 2D trace. This was actually the last one we did and I'll put this in a top-down view like this. Okay. Notice what we've got here is a polyline. We captured using polyline and we put the uh, uh, the point capture at continuous distance. Notice that down here. Continuous distance. So every time this SMR would move 60 thousandths of an inch we would track another point. So notice that if I zoom in I'm getting points like every 60 thou with a little arrow between them, kind of pointing direction. But uh, so what we'll do here at Smokercraft is these guys will grab these these uh, features and they'll start making their own lines in SolidWorks, their lines, their path, their arcs, and all the divots, anything that is in there that's relevant to the hull, uh, the hull cutting. So what we end up doing then is we will capture all these points all the way around, and then what we do is come here under the polyline, and then we export a DXF. So that DXF is a 2D file that will be used uh, in the cutting path of, uh, of these panels. So pretty easy capture though when we've got the tracker set up and it's in this spot. We hot glued it down so it's not moving and uh, we can follow or the, the SMR will follow the contour of each of those panels as we're as we're tracking the data. Mm -hmm.